Okay, now let's understand this uh, final concept. What is passed by reference in Java? We'll understand this with an example. Let's start uh, working on this. Uh, this is an example for passed by reference in Java. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create an array in TM is equal to one comma two comma three comma what I'm going to do here is create an array. It is in TM is equal to let me initialize with some values two comma three comma four. We have three elements in this array, and I'm going to pass this uh, array to a method called change array, change array, and then the method receives this array. So I'm going to pass it. So I have passed the array m to that method. Let me go and code this method that is a public static void change array and uh, I have to receive this array I will call that in k and inside this I am just going to do a very small change what I am going to do is k of 1 is equal to 999 what I have done here created an array I am passing it to this method change array and I am changing the second element in the array to 999 will this really affect m that is the question so will m get changed will it be changed to triple nine let's go and check that out after calling this method let me uh, print the elements in the array say for int j in all m let's uh, do this out and then print j out so the question is after I call change array, I am changing the second element to triple nine. Will this really affect M? Let's go check it out. So you see the array M got changed. It is two, triple nine and four. So why this is happening? This is called pass by reference. When you say you're passing array M to this method, we are not doing a copy here. Instead, we are passing the address of M to this method. So when you pass the address, we are not actually working on the copy. We are working on the original array. So when you go and change the value in K, it means we are changing the original array. So this is called pass by reference. You know what is pass by value, right? Pass by values, you create a copy. Whereas in pass by reference, you pass the address and that's what is happening here. When you are passing M, we are just passing the address and when you are changing K, we are changing the actual original array that is in that particular address. And that's why when we change K, M gets impacted. You can very well see here when we are printing M, the second element in M got changed to triple line. That's all about pass by reference. And this is what uh, we have already learned in our previous classes, but just to refresh our concepts, I have given you this example. Hope all of you have understood this.